Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni once again coming to you here from the banks of the Trinity River near Willow Creek, California. Ozzy and I welcome you to the studio and we are very, very happy you are here with us today. So the Circus Altered book is completed. The uh, most of these videos, I think almost all of these videos, are located on YouTube under the Circus Altered book series. They are longer videos, just going to warn you off the bat, because this took a lot of time, work, and energy. And um, if you really want to see how I constructed all of this, I do hope you go and check out the Circus Altered book playlist. Isn't that awesome? This was definitely a uh, challenge to do this front cover, but I love how my trains turned out. The train engine and the caboose. I think they're pretty, pretty amazing. And um, I hope you guys like them also. I'll try to get you a little bit of a close up here. And of the caboose. Now, I did put my signature on the caboose as the train name because, you know, this is truly a work of art, so I figured that I would sign the book. That's how I chose to do it. Okay, so uh, this is going to be kind of pieced together a little bit because in order to show you everything, I have to kind of keep moving you around a bit because this guy is a monster. But I think actually we can get the first page shown to you pretty well here. Again, forgive me for the moving in and out. Um, it is difficult to show this book. It is well enough constructed though to where um, there's really some uh, cool things that happen with this book. So to start off with, every part proper circus tent needs to have its own lighting. So there is our mast and dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. It lights up like the circus tent would. We got a little tangled here. Not overly concerned about that because that's just going to happen. Um, but yes, so this piece does light up. There we go. It's got to be straight. <laughs> okay, now that we got the lights up, maybe I can show you this guy. Page one. Oh, page two, actually. Now, this was the first layout that I did for the book, and I am definitely going to have to move you down in order to see it properly. So my first challenge was this with this book was to make everything as compact as possible. And um, as you can see here, this next layout only took up about an inch of space here. And remember guys, I am doing this backwards, so it's a little bit harder to maneuver it correctly. But there is our circus tent. And then with the pulls, here's the little kids. And then under here are the ads for the different things that you could see. Now this is a pop-up and pull-up construction, so this took me many, many hours to figure out. But I love it. I think it's pretty awesome. 
and again it folds up to be incredibly compact putting the tent away Ta-da! all right so the next page is um the beaded senator page maybe and just adjust you again And it is a beaded window with the tattooed lady and the centaur. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So the next page is our cabinet of curiosities. It looks like we've got quite a bit of glare on this, but I think the colors are pretty true to life here. So I want you to see all the colors, all the different doors. The strong man and the bearded lady. They're all hanging out, getting ready for the show. Come on. This. <laughs> but I love how these tags turned out and I love how the background turned out. I think it's super rich and very interesting and unique. Cabinet of Curiosities. Woohoo! All right, so this one was the knife throwing lady. And at one point, I don't think it still does. But at one point, this was a spinner, like what she would have been tied up to, and then had the guy throw the knife at her, which is just crazy. Um, it's kind of gotten flattened out over time here. But both the star and the wheel spun easily it still spins pretty easily i just probably need to work it a little bit and then we also have a hidden pocket page and um, this fellow and his sister were a very popular circus act and they performed together through most of their life so she must have been really trusting of him <laughs> let me pull you a little bit closer the sharpshooter page all right in the next page we have the ticket booth step right up uh the barker and then the ticket booth actually is a shaker window so it's very hard to get it to shake when it's sitting here like this but i did construct that ticket booth it has dimension to it and then I thought this image of this guy was quite, quite creepy. And sometimes those barkers can be pretty creepy. Circus people in general can definitely be a little different, right? Um, okay. Next we have the six tent flip and fold. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reposition you um, but while you're here I guess we can show the tents so they do flip up and then they flip down and when they flip down they actually have their performers there underneath of them so, all right so here we have the six tent flip and fold uh, curiosity row is what this one is so as you can see I put the advertisements on the front 
of the tents. So like when you went to the circus, you would see the line of tents with the different advertisements. So then inside we have all of the different circus performers who would have been performing. And this is the world's strongest lady. What is her name again? Miss Katie Sandwia. Actual person. She would lift her husband up over her head. And then we have the snake lady. And then we have, <laughs> it is unruly. I told you it was unruly. And we have the strong man. And we have the fortune teller. We have the flying man, and then we have oh, the bird girls. So when all the tents are up, it looks pretty darn cool. So there is our Curiosity Row Six Tent Flip and Hold. Oh, wait, Cabinet of Curiosities and then Curiosity Row. And now I will go through and compact all of this. So one thing I want you to know is that when this is all compact, it takes up about two inches of space in the binding. But look how small that actually gets. Oh, I think that's pretty fabulous. Then our next page is going into the circus, a little pocket page. We have All right, here we are going in to the circus. We have our tickets here in our little ratty tattered pocket. You know, the circus was a great way for people to escape their cares and worries. And I just made them, <coughs> excuse me, double sided. And then just put a little feather in the pocket with it. <coughs> Heading into the big tent. And then we're going to the big tent. So I'm going to have to move you again one more time. And I will try to get all this shown to you here. This one's a little bit more difficult. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Oh, first I want to point out that this all takes up about four inches of space for this next layout. Okay, so for this next layout, we have the audience. We have the girl hanging here, but then, ta-da, we have her up above. And then here's where the lighting really comes into play because here we are finally at the big top. Here's some more acrobats here and then up here let's see if i can make this one stand up properly come on okay that way and that 
that way. There. So then you have your full inside of your tent. You have your crowd people. And then we have the three ring circus. What? But wait, there is more. So there's everybody watching what's happening all around them. And then we have the horse rider and some more acrobats. And look at this, we've got three ring circus going on all the way around us. And everybody's just laughing and having a great time. I wanted to make sure that I found images of people having fun at the circus. And let me see if I can get you a image where you can see the lights also. All right, our next page is our exquisite corpse page. And for those of you that don't know what the exquisite corpse is, it was a game that was played in Victorian times where people were um, given uh, directions to draw a head, a body, or feet, and then they would put these images together and they would make fun funny uh, creatures and all sorts of it was a parlor game basically the exquisite corpse so this is where I chose to use my animals um, you know what circuses did to animals was of course horrible and um, so I didn't want to put really that many uh, real-life images of animals because I just think they were quite cruel. So here, as you can see, we can have a lot of fun just changing the heads around, the legs around, you know, body parts to body parts to body parts. This one was really a lot of fun to do. It was very challenging as I was drawing all these great little creatures myself. And um, I just think they are as fun as can be. The elephant combined with the bear is pretty cute. But um, yeah, there is the exquisite corpse page layout. Again, I think every single step of the way was shown on YouTube for this. So there's a video for it. Actually, I think there is a series of about 10 videos for it. It took a long time. So then here is kind of our childhood memories. We're getting towards the end of the book here. Ugh. Of course, we have to have a little home for our elephant. Elephant. And what would a boy have in his treasure box from long ago? He'd have a shark's tooth, he'd have a little toy knife, he'd have, a, I think there's an army man in there, a couple pretty rocks, there's a lizard and a frog, and, um, a um, little badge. So yeah, it's kind of the memories of days gone by. And this has filled in with sand over time. 
hidden, hidden away. And then, last but not least, of course, we have our caboose. The end. All right. And there we are, back to the beginning and the end. So I hope you enjoyed this tour.